So my objective in taking this conversation forward will be to help you become more of who you truly are. All right, rather than talk about, OK, let's come up with this scheme and, you know, we'll fuck up her life. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, because it doesn't matter. Um, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, it's it's worse to fuck up a man's uh, reputation than it is to you know try to talk bad about women because uh, they have their own ways of me ways and means of you know getting ahead, and they have their own ways and means of camouflaging. They have their own like uh, like she's sitting in Canada, right? But when she would be in wherever Pakistan or India or wherever she's from, like. Her behavior would be different than what she's doing over here would be different. And then what she's doing with the people is different and everything. So I understand all of that. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's come down to number one. Straight away, let's just discount for the sake of this conversation. Let's just discount the idea of, you know, what do I do? How does she learn her lesson? How do we take revenge? How do we expose her? Let's just fuck that because you heart of hearts know that it's not worth it. All right. Mm -hmm. And number two. It's not true to your true nature. All right. Now, why is it not worth it? Let's just go through that first. All right. Why is it not worth it is one uh, question that you should understand so that later when the thoughts around this keep coming again and again, you can remind yourself. So it's, it's not really worth it because, for example, let's say there's there's you and then there's a situation or a person or a thing whatever which is occupying your mind space okay mm-hmm. and it's occupying your emotional state and it's so like you're obsessed with it currently whether due to a good reason whether due to a bad reason it could be a good reason that let's say i want uh, the youtube uh, gold award so i'm obsessed with you know 1 million subscribers and that's all that was on my mind or that uh, YouTube is behaving unfairly with me because I don't know if you've seen since three years, my number is stuck at exactly one yeah. number, which is yeah. very odd. It doesn't normally happen. Yeah. But if it's happening, it's happening. Whether someone's doing it, not doing it, whether they like our work or not, because all of these yeah. companies have their own agendas, whatever. I could then get obsessed with that shit. All right. Yeah. So one is the feeling of I want this and I deserve this. And one is that I did not want this and I did not deserve this. Either way, you get stuck with thinking about all of this shit. Now, what you need to understand is that you end up feeding this animal. All right. Simply because your attention and your focus and your energy is going towards that direction. So even if today you're sitting at home and you're not really doing anything about it in the physical world. All right. You're not chasing her around. You're not texting her. You're not calling up that guy. You're not doing any of that. But here you're occupied with her. So what you're doing is that whatever exists between you and this situation, person, thing, phenomena, that relationship, you're feeding energy into it and you're further strengthening it and you're growing it. Okay. Even though you're doing it subliminally, you're doing it at the level of thought. You're doing it at a spirit level. You're doing it at a level of uh, you're doing it at a level which is not visible outside but there is a level it's energy mm-hmm. all right it's uh, because if you think about it even what you have today in the physical world such as you being in canada started over here you thought about it one day you wanted it and you directed yourself there and that's why you're over here all right so if you want to get done with the situation all right Instead of acting from the state of how it has affected you. So let's say you were like this and now you're like this. And instead of acting from this state so that you can come back here from this state, also you are, you know, feeding it energy from this state. Also, you are thinking about it and everything. This is not helping you. This actually drains you further. All right. I understand why it happens because yes, we are emotional beings. Yes, we feel that we did the right thing or we were good hearted. You know, we never harmed them we never schemed we never cheated we never stabbed them in the back we never did any of them Mm. fine that's all that's all great all right so that's all emotional all right but unfortunately with like men we don't really have much bandwidth to sit down and cry about in emotions all right that's that's kind of like the price of being a man all right 
and this doesn't mean that kill your emotional self this does not mean that never be emotional this does not mean you never release your emotion or express them you do all of that but you become the chooser behind the medium through which you will do all of this okay so if you end up doing it back over here you're just feeding this organism more and more and it's feeding on you okay to the point where then you will be hell bent on okay now i have to do something fuck this cannot get away this that etc and it leads to bad action or bad speech all right both bad action and bad speech cannot really be taken back all right so one you will feel bad about it that how could this fucking thing bring me down to that level or you'll think how did i allow myself to get down to that level all right and that's why it's not worth it all right so understand this so that in the future when these thoughts come back to you you know it's uh, good to have this kind of understanding at a deep level so that you don't get bothered by it to the point of like just sitting over there and it sometimes hijacks you to this level that even if you got the opportunity that okay i'm free and i'm yes i'm bored so i can do something but you get so absorbed here that then you become handicapped that how do i start something new right now you know my energy is all affected by this shit all right so it's not worth it um second it's not a uh, true to you know your own particular uh, nature and uh, why i am saying that is because one you luckily know that you're more of an empath and you're more on the sensitive kind uh, more of the sensitive kind you know and you're generous and kind and all of that and then there are some people who think that they're not like that or they know that they're not like that but in truth be told like all of us actually are like that because the core nature of like um what keeps us all alive in some shape or form is love all right so because it's it's like it's like the strongest source of light it's like the strongest of all states emotions anything and uh, you recognize that you have that embodied in a sensitive manner some people have that embodied in a hardened manner uh, some people are totally switched off towards it some people have never even experienced it outside in relation to something so anyway basically it's not true to our nature to be this kind of a being because you are sinking lower and lower into animal states of existence all right you're sinking into uh, let's just say a lower state of consciousness all right and it's not true to your own true nature because after some time when you have healed this wound which is there in you right now you will actually despite what they've done you will want to think good of them only that yeah let her have a good life or you know i hope she's okay or whatever it's okay because now let's come to another thing which i want to talk about which is that let's just talk about fate all right kismat destiny okay now things situations people etc enter your life so that you get to see a reflection of yourself in them they give you a chance whether it's a negative environment or a positive environment or a negative chance or a positive chance like if you forget the classification everything which you come across and what comes across you gives you an opportunity to mold yourself okay because you're going to either be proactive or you're going to be reactive and depending on how you choose to be proactive or how you choose to be reactive that choice is with you but such stuff coming in your life mostly is out of your control because we are not future predictors we don't know how the future works all of us crave predictability but we don't know that's why nowadays like people are so scared to trust all right and a lot of people are writing uh, like sending me requests on uh, youtube that please make a video on marriage and how to select a marriage partner in today's world girls are like this etc i understand that but at the same time even the guys could be fickle you know i understand that girls are no longer of the same you know moral nature as before because also they were marketed this thing a lot but at the same time then guys are also you know not that not like the ones in you know our previous generation so anyway there's work to be done on both sides but basically things 
people situations etc happen to you they'll come your way because let's just call that fate or destiny because you can't control you know tomorrow when you're walking on the street and like or when you were playing and you had this uh, fracture you can't fucking control it now all of this when it comes to you right i want you to remember one line i because it's from my own notes and uh, i think what i've written is that uh, i look at everything as an opportunity to improve myself i look at everything as an opportunity to improve myself and why i'm saying this is because every situation person etc which is coming across you whether in a work environment whether in a personal environment whether as a, as a stranger these are all let's just say many many examinations of who you are as a person and how you choose to experience life all right so um uh, seneca you know one of those philosophers he had this uh, line which is in latin and basically uh, it says in english that the fates lead those who will meaning fate leads those kind of people like leading becomes a leader for those kind of people who willingly go with it all right so i willingly go with my fate those who choose not to go with it fate will still take you but it will drag you through the fucking ground okay so one is painful because you're in continuous resistance and one is voluntarily that okay my foot is broken fuck it say la vie such is life let's just go ahead all right so that is why this particular thing which you know i wrote in my own notes when i like i'm i'm i like people ask me what do you do or where do you work so i just say i work out myself because that's literally the thing i do 24/7 so i remember this line which i had written that you know i look at everything as an opportunity to improve myself because that suddenly lights up the light of consciousness within you that holy shit i was just going to react impulsively or and th- this will still happen all right because obviously change is not possible in one instant that from today mm-hmm. i will look at everything as an opportunity to improve myself <laughs> market shoot let me get cheated on <laughs> let me get betrayed by somebody fuck that it doesn't happen like that but the more you know you consciously remind yourself of that because uh, we can uh, ev- like today people like self improvement and wanting to change themselves they do it on the outside that okay let me do meditation or let me read a book or let me go on a solo trip are fuck that all of that is still fine but the actual change you need to make in what is invisible which are the mental patterns which is the thought all right so yeah that's where the actual change needs to be brought all right so because that change simply changes the mindset with which then you start looking at all of this and then if you have to do anything then you do anything that you have to do all right so this is the second thing which i wanted to explain to you that okay you know this person came to your life and did xyz with you fine no stress no worries i get it emotion anger hatred how could they unfair unjust yes experience it you know why experience those emotions fully even though any emotion which we don't like we love to avoid it fucking dive into it experience it fully so that you understand that particular aspect of insaniyat humanity that holy shit this also happens in the world there are so many people right now who must be feeling like this and maybe in more severe situations all right and you basically expand your experience of life as well as feel something which then you realize that hopefully i never make anybody feel like this so through this process what you end up doing is that there was a impact to you that's caused you hurt that's wounded you now that particular pain that particular poison that particular hurt instead of wanting to fucking retaliate you alchemize it all right into something with which you fucking grow you use that poison as fuel 
and that doesn't mean grow in the alpha and i'm a more successful person no you grow inside you expand your heart okay you alchemize it so that you never become one of the same kinds of people okay so that you never become one of those kind of people because then you are nobody else compared to them because you are just continuing a cycle of negative action or behavior karam all right so instead choose to embody that poison and let it become the fuel for you to alchemize it into expanding your own self so that one you understand wow this is possible in the experience of humanity two wow i hope from this pain i realize i should never do this to anyone all right so and three this brings willingness to go ahead with your fate that okay maybe this was meant to happen for me and if i remember that i have to look at everything as an opportunity to improve myself okay then there's a hidden lesson over here and only if i do this process of alchemy do i recognize that lesson are you getting me so now let's turn all of this back coming to the few things which we wrote down which is your state all right because in your state on one side we have something wrong has been done to me okay then we have i have been betrayed and cheated on then we have how could somebody be heartless then we have how do i take revenge then we have how can i expose that person for who they are so that they learn the lesson so let's just go through these points one by one 